Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. Wow, that's a lot of shadows on my face. How about that? That seems better. Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is Booklist Thursday and Booklist Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. So today we're going to continue on with our little spooky Halloween vibe feel thing that we got going on. So last week we did witches and werewolves and zombies oh my or something like that. And then this week we're each kind of taking our own <clears throat> genre or our own kind of spin on what we love in spooky Halloween books and talking about those. So I believe Sarah's talking about horror books today and I'm going to talk about books with ghosts in them today because I love me a good ghost story. So I'm not sure if this is because I'm pretty sure the house we used to live in was haunted. In fact, I know it was. We had a lot of very strange things happen. Very strange things happen. We had doors rattle. Um, we had my oldest said to me one night, mom, tell the guy in the kitchen to stop staring at me so I can go to sleep. We definitely had a ghost there. We called him the Krabby Man. Not really sure why. Um, I never felt afraid, but like, it was interesting. I don't think he's followed us here. Nothing spooky has happened. I think he has stayed there. Um, but we definitely <clears throat> had some, some ghost vibes going on there. So I'm not sure if that's where I like got drawn into this or what it is, but I love me a good ghost story. So so I have a few recommendations for you today. I also have one, one book I haven't read and one book I'm currently reading to talk about today. So first one, where do we want to start? Hmm. Um, let's start with a very mild ghost story. So Andriana, Andriana Mather um, has two books out. How to Hang a Witch is the first one, which I really don't know where my copy is. Again, missing books. But Haunting the Deep is the second one, and I just finished this one. They are YA books, and so they're not super high on the creepy scale, but there's definitely some, some creepy stuff that happens. How to Hang a Witch follows the Salem Witch Trials. Um kind of the aftermath of the Salem witch trials. So it's told in present day, but it definitely has ties back to those those um, witch trials. Haunting the Deep has ties to the Titanic. Lots of ghosts in this book. Um, lots of ghosts in this book. Basically someone is, someone's been able to find all of the ghosts of the people who sank on the Titanic and they're kind of trapping them in this situation. So it's, Definitely ghost vibes, but, but very mild just because it is YA, but still very, very good. I'm really liking Andriana Mather's um, work, and this is the second one that I read. So awesome books, How to Hang a Witch and Haunting the Deep. Pick those up. If we're going to stay on our, you know, not so creepy ghost vibes here, um, I will also bring up The Afterlife of Hallie Chase by Cynthia Hand. This is a... Um, Christmas Carol type of retelling and so Holly Chase um, ends up I think she was visited yeah she's visited by three ghosts and given the chance to kind of change her ways and she decided not to and so fate played out she ended up passing away and now she um, is stuck working for this project Scrooge company as the latest ghost of Christmas past so ghost vibes but Christmassy feels <laughs> if you can marry those two, but I really liked this book. I loved the play off of A Christmas Carol. I loved the lessons in this book. I loved, I loved so much about this book. It was fantastic. So pick up The Afterlife of Holly Chase. You will not be disappointed. You get your ghost vibes, but not too spooky. So, <clears throat> Then we need to move into the spooky ghost vibes. So Jennifer McMahon, who's quickly becoming one of my favorite thriller spooky type authors. That would be Max. 
Um, she wrote a book called The Winter People, and this has very spooky ghost type vibes to it. Very creepy, a little slow start, but very, very creepy. So definitely pick up The Winter People. And then of course I have the epitome of ghost stories. Simone St. James is like my go-to ghost story writer. Broken Girls, there is a ghost in here called Black Mary who is, oh my gosh, spine tingly creepy. Um, and then there's a scene in the Sundown Motel where there's a ghost. I can still picture the scene and there's this ghost leaves like the smell of cigarette smoke behind and it's like I could almost smell. It was just crazy how realistic and how creepy these ghosts are in both of these books. Both fillers, this follows an old um, um, boarding school type place and this follows an old hotel. So of course there's history and there's mysteries and there's ghosts and it's so fantastic and it's awesome. So like pick those up for sure. Riley Sagar also is really great at bringing in some spooky ghostish type situations. Home Before Dark has a little bit of a ghost vibes to it. Um, Lock Every Door I consider has a little haunting type vibes to it as well. And then of course, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I, I mean, there's this is the third one. I don't know what happened to my first two, but I know there's definitely ghost vibes in my Scary Stories books. So those are the ones I've read that I highly, highly recommend. I have a couple others in mind that I would highly recommend, but if I tell you that ghosts are involved, I'm going to spoil something for you. So I can't tell you what those books are. But I've recommended them before, if that's a clue, it's really that. But anyways, the other one I have um, on my shelf is The Mercy of Thin Air by Ronlin Domingo. Um, New Orleans, 1920s. Um, Rosalia Nolan is in the throes of a ma magnificent love affair when she dies in a tragic accident. In an instant, she leaves behind her one true love and her dream of becoming a doctor, but somehow she still remains. Immediately after her death, Rosy chooses to stay in between a realm that exists after life and before whatever lies beyond it. From this vantage point, she narrates the story of her lost love, Andrew, and the relationship of Amy and Scott, a couple whose house she haunts almost 75 years later. So I'm really interested in hearing a book from the perspective of a ghost. Like, how cool would that be? Um, and then I'm currently reading The Whisper Man by Alex North. It gives, there's definitely, I'm pretty sure she's a ghost. Um, they keep referencing her as an imaginary friend, but something just happened that let me to believe that she is a ghost. I don't know how she's tied to the mystery that's happening around the Whisper Man who seems to take kids, um, very vulnerable kids he takes them. Um, it's just, oh, it's so creepy, you guys. And I am almost halfway through and this kind of big reveal just happened and I thought it was a little early for this to happen. So I'm not really sure where the rest of this is gonna go, which I, love and adore. I had to stop reading this last night. This is a freezer worthy book. Um, if you know what I'm referencing at all in the TV show friends, which is like my fave. Um, there is an episode where Joey's reading the shining or no, uh, Rachel goes and opens the freezer and finds Joey's book, the shining in there. And he explains that when he gets to the scary parts, he puts it in the freezer. Yeah. The, this is a freezer worthy book there. I had to put it down last night. So I'm not sure 100%, but I believe there's ghost vibes in here. So definitely worth it. Anyways, those are my ghost book recommendations. Please leave, my, leave me messages down below if you know of any other good ghost stories. I am all in for them. Love me some ghost stories. Um, otherwise, head over to Sarah's channel and see what she has for horror. Haven't delved into that genre yet. I need to. I will, maybe I have, I guess I should look at what I'm, maybe I have, I don't know. Head over to her channel, see what she has for recommendations today. Otherwise, comment below, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.